Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Late night vids, we're kind of keeping it on the DL, but I want to inform you guys just on some stuff that I'm thinking for Foot Birthday Set Number 2. Foot Birthday Set 2 is coming out on Friday. I want to give you guys a head start, a couple cards, cards that we might see, and then of course talk about the Weekend League um, rewards that are coming here in a few hours. This video is going to go live just before Weekend League rewards come out and maybe talk about some of the market impact of what those rewards could mean for the market today. So before rewards, I want to take a look quickly at this see this team here and just kind of fill you guys in. Uh, it looks like a lot of these cards are maintaining their price as we head into rewards. Uh, not a lot of stuff has been panic sold, which is interesting. And uh, I'm really curious to see how rewards hits these cards. I know these cards are like super duper uh, desirable. A lot of people want them, um, but I'm not sure if people are looking to get these after rewards or if they're gonna wait till next week, I would assume most people in this game would wanna go and get those cards. Uh, Cause you know, there's a lot of people playing weekend league right now, a lot of people on this game. Wow, this card has dropped. He is 1.5 mil today. That's low. I'm inter interested to see the supply that comes out of the market during rewards. I don't think people are really gonna hold their packs for set two. Uh, and I do think that people will uh, end up opening their packs today when rewards do come out in here in a little bit. So that's one thing to think about. I do think these will be supplied. If there's any of the cards that get supplied the most that will bounce back, in my opinions, Lozano, Munein, and um, Hernandez would be the ones that would bounce back the most from the supply today during Weekend League rewards. So uh, other stuff that we could have happening today, you know, the past two days on foot have been just purely average, purely average in my opinion. We got Ramsey. Today we got Terrapt. Um, if you have not done this SBC, this is a massive W in my opinion. They're basically giving away an 88 rated card. This card, according to Flippin, it costs 40k to do this. A lot of you guys probably have a couple 84s in your team already. I know it does does require 80 chemistry, but it costs 40,000 coins to do this, according to Flippin. If we look at the cheapest players by rating, 88 rated in this game. Costs around 34, 35,000 coins. I think you can do that SBC cheaper than you ride around 30K if you have some cards in the club. So that is a GG. I do think that the 84s went up today a little bit. Some of them did, especially the ones with good links. Yeah, some of them with good links did. 85s up a smidge too. Uh, and 83s actually look to be up a smidge as well. But I would highly recommend doing that Tarapt SBC just because, you know, it's a fun card you could try out for a little bit. And he's 88 rated, pretty cheap. Basically like a buying a fodder card, um, you know, for SBCs in the future. One other interesting thing I want to I want to watch is these cards at rewards, right? Pareo is 16,000 coins right now. These 86s, these cards have kind of started to drop a little bit on the PlayStation, right? He's been 18, 19,000 coins all week. And today he's kind of been dropping down in price. So if rewards hits these cards a lot, and that could be a possible investment. You're like, yo, why would you invest in high rated cards at rewards? I know there's a lot of people in this game that will be going to complete SBCs after they get their rewards. So that could be something you look at is watching these cards during rewards. If you if you see 86 at like 14, even 15,000 coins for like a Parejo, uh, for a Werner, for an Isco, for the guys that are really, really linkable, um, I would really take a look at those 89s. I would want to see to get a bit lower. If you're going to look at some stuff during rewards, 87s and 86s would be, and 88s as well would be um, what I would look at because those are used the most um, for SBCs that are out in this game right now because a lot of people, I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of people that go out and do a mid icon SBC after getting their weekend league rewards. The, people are addicted to these. They're so fun. And it makes sense, right? It makes sense that they're addicted to these. Um, so I do expect some people to get their weekend league rewards and want to go out and do a mid icon SBC. So watch that fodder during rewards to see if it does get low. It's something I want you guys to be watching for and just kind of watch for Thursday morning. Now, I want to kind of talk about later in the day, Thursday, 6 p.m. content on Thursday. What's going to happen? I honestly think that we're going to get a loading screen for set two. Thursdays at 6 p.m. UK are usually their drop time for the new loading screens if we're getting a promo. Um, and that's kind of their normal time. That's also when we want to have our weekend league Thursday flips sold. So I would almost expect this screen uh, to be replaced with another one that shows possible uh, leaks, you know, like a teaser for foot birthday set number two. And I want to talk about a few cards we could see in set two. Is set two going to be as good as set one? 
we can only uh you know only predict and guess at the moment but set one was a pretty tall order to live up to if they're gonna if they're gonna live up to set one uh that's gonna be very very impressive because set one was solid right set one was really really solid couple guys that I think could get into set two, Muhammad Salah. I don't know if his card would be 95 rated or if it would be 93 rated, but this guy gets a weak foot upgrade. If he goes to a five-star weak foot with the four-star skills, especially if they give him a striker position change, that will be a game-breaking card. If they make him a 95, you're talking about big-time statistics uh, on a very meta card, right? This is This guy fits the meta. He would have 80 strength if they boost this card. He'd have above 70 aggression. Um, and then of course his agility and balance would be near perfect. Um, great finishing, great acceleration. This would be a like bomb center attacking mid or a bomb striker that a lot of people would want to use in this game with the five star weak foot. That's kind of something that has held Salah back. So I'm really curious to see if they give him a card. That would be sweet. And that would also cause some market movements. Second card I think could, that could get in is Raheem Sterling. I think they could give him a left wing, a right wing, or a center attack in mid card and boost that weak foot to a five star. A lot of people would want to use that card as well. I mean, Sterling hasn't had a special card since uh, since headliners, and he hasn't had any informs or upgrades. And of course, these are technically live items, uh, but they only upgrade with team of the week moments. So uh, at least for now. So I would say that Sterling has a pretty pretty possible chance to get into, and that could be a card that they put in kind of as a supplement to Rashford, if that makes sense. Because, uh, you know, if, a lot of times what EA does is they put some cards in that second team that's you usually you see one or two cards in that second team that with the link with a very popular player in the first team. That's just kind of like EA's way of trying to get you to go out and splash your cash on both of those special cards. Uh, so I could see a Raheem Sterling, maybe the left wing, right wing card. That would be dope. Uh, and then, of course, people would, you know, people would think to, to link that with the new Rashford because that could be a strong an English link right there in the Prem that you could go for. So watch this Sterling card. I think he could get it for birthday. And then Di Maria. If Di Maria gets a full birthday card, that would be nuts. Uh, I'm imagining it would probably be like an 89 again or a 90. But again, you give this guy a five-star weak foot, he would be five-star, five-star. Give him a bit of a boost, and uh, you're looking at a very, very fun center attacking mid to use. You could use him in the middle, again, with the five-star weak foot. That's the biggest upgrades I think that I see out of these teams. When they give somebody the five-star weak foot upgrade, it means a lot more than just the five-star skills, right? Lucas Hernandez, yeah, it's cool that he got five-star skills, right? You know, it's cool, but the five-star weak foot on Griezmann makes a huge difference. The five-star weak foot on Rashford makes a huge difference, right? It's really cool to see them get the five star, five stars. Uh, and that's, I think that's the most important thing about this promo is that the weak foot upgrades that just makes the card play so much different. So those are some of my ideas for who could be in set two. Drop yours down below if you have any, any sort of prediction, any sort of thoughts or anything going on with that. Um, but yeah, for today for the content boys, I do think we'll get a loading screen. And I wouldn't be surprised if they dropped a big boy SBC. Thursdays, again, have been days where they drop a loading screen and they they have dropped some big time SBCs on a Thursday before too. So just keep your eyes out for that. I don't think we have anything expiring really soon, do we? Uh, Tarapt is out for two days. Ramsey is out. I think that Amavi is gone. Yeah, Amavi. Oh no, Amavi is going to be gone at 6 p.m. UK. So last chance to get him. I do expect another foot birthday player to be released. Wow, Ozil still has one day left. Interesting. Uh, Ozil still has one day left, and Amavi is going to be out before him, but Amavi came after him, is what it is, EA Sports. Uh, so watch for the French left backs that maybe were hit in price, like Dig Day. Watch them to rebound, especially with rewards today, uh, as this SBC goes away. And then I, dude, if they're going to drop a Pogba, I mean, this could be their shot to drop, drop a Pogba drain a bunch of coins before the part two comes out of for birthday and then boom they have a situation where a lot of people need to get some coins and they could open up fifa points on friday for the new promo so i would expect an sbc today on thursday that sucks some coins off the market and that makes people want to open weekend league rewards uh no open packs this weekend so just watch out for that if you do want to look at some sbc fodder uh, during weekend league rewards, again, like I talked about, some of those 86 rated cards like a Muller uh, or like a Parejo, you could do that. That's a bit more of a speculative play, um, but I would say you could possibly take a look at that. Muller right now is 17,500 17, coins for Muller. 
What about Parejo? Parejo really interests me because that's a very linkable card. Is he actually 16K? Parejo is actually 16K, it looks like, which is nuts because this card is usually one of the more expensive 86s. So if I saw this at like 14,000 coins during rewards, that could be a shout if you're somebody who likes to flip the fodder. Um, but other than that, I do think you will see the market kind of rise this morning. And then depending on what happens at 6 p.m. UK, you might see a drop because of the loading screen. And you also might see a drop because of whatever SBCs do come. One thing we haven't seen yet in the objectives is the extra player picks. I don't know if they're going to drop them uh, today. I really hope that they drop them today on Thursday because that means when the weekend league starts up, you'll actually be able to play. Because the last, last time they did it, they didn't open them up until 6 p.m. on Friday, which the weekend league starts before that. The weekend league starts earlier in the day on Friday. So if people start playing the weekend league before 6 p.m. UK, those wins don't actually count for the bonus player pick objectives that we're going to be getting. So I hope that EA drops the player pick objectives uh, on Thursday at 6 p.m. UK, today 6 p.m. UK, so that we can actually see them, man. So that we can actually see them and start playing for champions and have those wins count because that's not cool. Um, if they don't count before 6 p.m. UK on Friday when the promo drops. So it is what it is, but that's the way EA did it last time. I hope they change it up this time. Make sure you guys are doing this for birthday objective. I need to do this really quick tonight. Get two games in any foot mode uh, because these rewards can actually stack up and you can get some good stuff from them. So make sure that you are doing those objectives. And again, if you haven't, if you've done a few upgrade packs, let me know how your luck has been with these upgrade packs. My luck has been really, really good. I've done somewhere around 50 packs. And in the first 25 packs, I packed Lucas Hernandez and Marcus Rashford. So um, I'm still going to do a few more of these, especially when Team 2 comes out. This SBC is out over the weekend, basically. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be hitting some of these over the weekend with the new team out as well. I feel like these are better than the 84 to 91s. And if they come out with the, if they refresh these next week, I'll be happy. Um, but I probably would assume they would put out the 82 to 88 upgrade and the 83 plus or the 82 plus, uh, whatever that pack is that they usually release for upgrades. I would expect that one as well. So again, today on the market, I see some rise in the morning on our out of packs special flips for weekend league. Watch and be careful with this team of the week moments, boys. The team of the week moments that um, just went out of packs. Let me check those prices really fast pre-rewards. A lot of people have invested in these cards. Uh, and again, wow, Koulibaly is 75K. Are you kidding me? Wow, man, that's low. I bought mine at like uh, 87. I have two of them at 87. I know a lot of you guys invested in these as well, but I think these are going to be like a two to three week hold until we actually see them go up. So just keep in mind with those, you might have to stick them out for a while if you bought with them. Uh, and if you really want to have the coins, maybe you do take the, take a little bit of a loss on some of them if you really need the coins. Um, but I I would be surprised if those rise up a lot today because a lot of people have invested in them. And if these actually drop, that would be like 0 for 2 on Icon or on Team of the Week moments. Last week, this team dropped. Alaba was 120K at rewards, dropped down to 90. Uh, Bale was like 370, 380. He dropped down to 350. So, you know, Walker went up because of the SBCs that came out. And because of Cancelo, but um, I would be surprised if the team of the week moments set two, like these guys right here, actually rose up a lot after awards. I think you might actually see them drop. So I'm probably going to be holding on to these cards uh, for the next couple of weeks until they the over investing kind of goes away and the selling kind of goes away and they just have a natural rise to them as they just get rare and as people use them in their team. So that's kind of the market outlook for today, boys. Tomorrow we'll have a special video looking at any new information that we might get today on Thursday in regards to foot birthday set number two. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.